Thethirdbill.com. I have merch. I have merch. Thethirdbill.com. Plug, plug, plug. It's not my worst plug. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill. This is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture except at living under a rock. Welcome back to more of The Owl House Season 2B. This is episode 19, O oh, Titan, Where Art Thou? In a minute, I'll cut to me watching the episode for the first time, then back here to the studio for the collected thoughts, the theories, things I've noticed, things like that. You know, <laughs> when the rest of my brain catches up with my emotional response. <laughs> Um, spoilers, as always, for The Owl House, created by Dana Terrace. It's, um, it's about communication and the real magic of using our words and honesty. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell, check the settings, set them to all, blah blah blah, YouTube words. I have a gaming channel link in the description, Build Chill Gaming, as well as my merch store, thethirdbuild.com. Speaking of the description, there's also a link there to a card for resources for social awareness and education, mental health crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that, should you or someone you know need them. I don't know, kinda, kinda going through it. It's fine. This one was a doozy. Leave a comment. What do you think Luce's Palisman is gonna be? I think it's gonna be a chimera. And I'll get into specifics about that later. I will show my work. Cartoons are fun. <laughs> oh no, it's the thing I blocked out. I didn't want to think about King being connected to the Collector yet. Hello, the Titanic? Cubes. Uh... Uh Hello? Who said that? Who's there? Nobody, nothing. <laughs> Ew, I uh the Oh, the little kid thing scares me. Yay, the full intro! Wee! <laughs> da, da 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 Everything is fine. <sighs> oh, pirate loose. Mom took Penn's dad, but you're safe. We'll contact him. Aww. Your mom took away your phone? You want to check on her? I can get to the owl house on my own. No splitting up. Yeah, let's not split up. You've never seen a live titan. And it turns out Bill's a good guy. The end. He's wise and so cool. You're the son of the boiling isles. Ooh, I like it being worded like that. Hey, look. Everyone missed us so much. They put a pretty sign. I want them all. I want a Hootie Wanted poster so bad. No! Oh, Francois, right? Oh my god, now it looks like the other house. You're hiding out on the knee. Oh, good. At least I'm coming up with ideas. No, get along. We don't have a house of owls anymore. Someone's tripped the booby trap. <laughs> trap. <gasps> Hi! Hi! Shirt! <gasps> Hootie brought souvenirs! Oh my god. Grand Huntsman? What the? Yikes! They are trying to sacrifice King to the Collector, who they worship. Oh. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> Surprise! Oh my god, Ida's gonna be the mother of Titans. Oh, the little snow bunny boy! Oh, Hootie hug! He's just killing so much. Yeah, we all are, kiddo. Or help make a He's portal. A and technically your nephew. He's a Clawthorn and your nephew. <laughs> I'm a god's aunt. <laughs> cool Aunt Lilith, aunt of gods. Oh. It's a secret. I'll fill you <sighs> in closer to go time. Ida's <laughs> so parental I instincts are kicking in. But also be honest. Friend. No, what? Oh, buddy. Doing. Tell her. Tell yeah, tell her. That we have no plan. That Bellos is gonna win. That the Boiling Isles are doomed. Ooh. <sighs> Kids deserve one nice day before they realize how dire things are. Oh yeah, this is our one nice day, isn't it? But if you could do anything in the world today, what would it be? Oh, it's our last nice day. Well, I. Hell yeah! King of, um, Titans, would you like some tea? Accept the offering of tea? Perhaps I could Lilith, be cool. Oh, 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 God. Need some alone time. Your Titan commanded it? It's weird now that it's coming true. Oh, Hootie. Someone gonna pick up the, the blade there? Get Francois! Are 
Are you sure you want to do this for a stuffed toy? Yes. Wouldn't you rather, uh, I don't know, have a beach day? Maybe if we had time for 20 more adventures, but we don't. Damn. Did, did they know at this point? Because that's pointy. What are we doing? Why is everybody looking spooky and sad? Oh, it's a different cat guard. It's Get the boy and your stuff. Take me to my, I mean, the Owl Lady's confiscated junk. Nice. Nailed it. Who are they? Steve! I got what I wanted, but that's not what I thought it was. I hear that. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the real world, Steve. You going somewhere? Cause I got a sidecar and nothing but time. Hell yeah! Adventures with Steve! Oh, please don't go to the head. Oh, oh, hootie hole theory. Nonsense. He's a titan for titan's sake. Oh, titan. I just took his name in vain. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> Why is everything going our way now? Maybe our luck's finally turned. Because we need a good day. Don't question this. If things get hairy, you fly out of here as fast as you can. Hey, don't give me that face. We leave okay. together. Okay. We leave oh, together. Labeled, eat as long as toenails. Grab that too. <laughs> Ew. Just keep looking until you find her. And only come to me. Rain! Yes, agreed. Go directly to Rain. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, buddy. To the Hootie Copter. Look at Steve expanding his mind. Are we going on a life changing field trip with Steve? Oh, look at him blush. Oh, me. Oh, me. Yeah, helping the people. Enjoy your remaining days. Don't take him to the head. Please don't take him to the head. Oh! Talk to Rain. Talk to- I thought I told you to. Oh, talk to Rain! You're wearing a stolen uniform. And I am Borrowed. Working. I do know that somewhere deep inside, you still care about me. Yes. Stop trying to protect her. I need your help. Yes. Wait. This is for my kids. Oh! Just keep them safe. If you do, I'll, I'll give myself up right now. Come along, uh, don't touch them! I'll send someone to receive the package. Your info looks outdated, chat. Well, your ass looks out face dated. Are you sending me away? Oh. Shut up, Disney. I didn't like any of that. This is supposed to be the last good day. Call Rain back to say hi. Aw, oh, shit. I can't believe you're still underestimating me. No, kiddo. Oh, it's not like that, but I get it. Hello? You're going with Rain. Ooh. I'll keep you safe. You can't make me. Yes, I can. No, you won't. No, no, no. Stop, stop. I don't want this. I don't want this. Stop. Jesus, stop. I can't. I. I. Please, please. Use our words. Use our words. Oh, that was a cool power slide. Use our words. But I can help with your plan. Ugh. Hello? Oh, you. Oh, Who are you? Fix it. Fix it. Hey, uh, oh, burgers. Your drink's getting warm. I always wanted to have power and to command respect and fear. So now that I kind of have all that. It's weird. With great power comes great responsibility. I don't want people to see me as a big scary monster anymore. <laughs> Face reveal? Hi, Steve! Oh! Unhand him, you coven shill! No! He's not a scout anymore. And he's handsome. My head hurts. I'm still king. King. Isn't this how you acted with the emperor? I'm sensing a little bit of a pattern with you. So true, king. I've been there. I can recommend a good therapist. There's therapy here? Yes. Talk to a therapist. Hootie. Hootie, no. Therapy good. There's therapy here? Take me to the therapy coven. The owl lady is to be taken to the conformatorium for petrification. Boo. Oh, kiddo. Oh, no. It's because there is no plan, okay? Ooh. 
have magic and we don't have allies, we're useless. So I was going to do anything to make sure that you were safe. Oh, shit. Fix it. Where are Abomination chill. Yay! Oh, the bats! Yay, hi, Darius. That's right, and, and Beast Boy, I forget your name. The famous human witch. Edith's been bragging about you for oh, That's right, you haven't even met yet! <laughs> Yay, we're all in this together. You could have let me in on things before attacking me. You're a horrible actor. I had to make it look real. Uh, they're a great actor. What are you talking about? I'm starting to think I wasn't very good at my job. Ring, why do it's you fine. Unbelievable that I wanted to keep you safe, but in typical Ida fashion, Yo! things aren't hopeless. Oh. They have a plan to stop Bellows and the draining spell. Hell yeah, they do. Allow me to introduce. Wait, hold on. The Cummins against the throne. We talked about this. The cats? I did not agree to this name. <laughs> McCavity! Oh my god, I didn't make that connection. You, I love it. Can I join you if I'm allergic? Francois. Oh, what? It's Palace Wood. Hell yeah! Yes, yes! No, you should. I have to focus on them stopping Bellows and. Make the thing! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this will help. Oh. But you keep learning and you keep fighting. What's well, not to like, huh? Thanks, Ida. Yeah. I think I'm ready to carve. Yay! Thank you! Let's go! <laughs> um, you're gonna show me how to do this, right? Okay. Yes. My dad taught me the ropes. Here, let's make sure we have some space. Ooh. Now, let's take it slow. We oh. have all the time in the world. Finally, and yay. Oh, God, my head hurts so much. Oh, it's probably the weather changing, but still. Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, fuck. This was the last nice day? Oh, it's gonna be a chimera. That's, that's where my money is. We'll talk about it. I was kind of expecting a Lilith Eda episode while Loose King and Hootie were away. Maybe I just wish I had seen what had gone down at the Owl House. Either way... Ida and Lilith have escaped with weapons and potions and snacks. Ida's plan was to never inform Luce of their whereabouts. Lilith left a note. And we see everybody reconnect, sharing the information that King is a Titan, which I loved this little moment of Luce checking with King first, just like looking over to him and he gave a little nod. I loved that. It's a big revelation and it's also, you, yeah, you're kind of like, hey, I'm kind of, if not to be worshipped, uh, to be expected to lead or something. Uh, there's a lot of responsibility with that title and this fear that King has of being treated differently as well as things not being the same. First, I took it as, you know, I want to go home and be in a familiar environment. Then it starts to sink in. He just doesn't want to be treated different since it turns out he's a Titan. And we see that embodied with Lilith. And I love taking this time for King to reflect and go on an amazing life-changing field trip with Biker Steve. More so also kind of flipping the script back on Lilith and realizing sometimes how you're being treated as a reflection on somebody else and what they're going through and not so much on you. Noting the repetition between praising and worshipping Bellos and now praising and worshipping King. We do start the episode with a horror nightmare reality because I... <laughs> the thing I've been pushing the furthest from my mind right now, because I'm, I'm not ready to grapple with... King might have some sort of connection to the Collector... And we see that kind of come to fruition. King is kind of ghosting through that interim dimension with the the cubes of mystery all over the place. The multiverse of madness, if you will. The Collector notices that they're not alone. And then, no, wait, come back. I don't want to be alone. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Are you a sad, lonely child? Like how you've been depicted with your Rugrats voice? Or is it don't leave because like I need you specifically, King? 
meh. You know what I mean? I liked not quite knowing. So that was terrifying. And I liked also bringing back that interim portal, that like creepy look into the thoughts thing, which makes me wonder, has the collector been able to monitor people through cubes or whose cubes are those the the collector can move through reflections and see things and whatnot. Or maybe that's what those disc things were was specific ways that the collector can view and be scary. We see that interaction. King wakes up. We're back with Luce and Hootie getting back to the boiling aisles from our disappointing field trip. We find out Amity's scroll has been taken by her mom, which is messed up. And I'm, I'm still anxious and really intrigued by what's going on at the Blight House right now. How are the Blights responding to all this? Not only two of the three kids multi-tracking. I'm waiting for that reveal and I'm hoping it comes in the next episode. Because I'd, I'd, I'd hate for it to get dropped. Ida, it's interesting. Ida and Luce really see their relationship, not only the dynamic cement and shift, but also seeing them kind of process and grapple with that change. It's time for the guardian parental figure to make a tough decision that back and forth, this used to be a place where I could be myself. There used to be little to no rules. It was interesting to see them be challenged by that. The only comfort Ida had was knowing that the kids were safe. Now they're back, more defenseless than they were prior. There's no owl house. We don't have the Hootie security system with us. Hootie's the key to everything, the Hootie whole theory. Um, I hope you check out that video if you haven't. But it was interesting to see if you had just one nice day, like you could do anything you want, what would it be? King needs to do some soul searching on his own and wants everything to feel normal. Luce wants to plan a heist to get Francois back for King with the promise of one last day of something fun, something nice. Thank you for letting us know. Suddenly it was the opposite of that, but we end with the notion of taking our time we have all the time in the world, breathe, let's carve the palisman together. Now it feels like we're getting that one last day. So it was interesting being promised that and then feeling like our one last day is going to be the next day. So I liked that whole you can't plan the last good day. She even, Ida even at one point offers up a beach day. I like that joke. Luce then says maybe if we had more time for 20 more adventures, which who knows how long they knew about the shortening of season three. But I feel like that joke was initially, LOL, we're hoping to get 20 more episodes, two more episodes of season two, at least 18 episodes of season three. Now that joke is bitter and pointy. I don't know if that was written, animated, scripted out, and recorded before the news or after the news of season three getting cut, because we found that out early this year, if I remember correct. Time's an illusion. It didn't feel great. I liked the the feeling and the desire of like trying to take control of a situation where you have no control and, and then trying to take control by saying, let's do something fun today. There's no reason you have to know how much danger we're in and how perilous this will be today. And then that all going to shit, you can't plan the last good day. King then sets off to kind of walk the Titan and figure out who he is and what's going on. And, and of all people he gets to share this experience with, it's Steve who's also soul searching and like, I don't know, I liked searching for answers in a book and eventually moving past it, skipping rocks, getting food, processing just, you know, how big the world is, how small we are. Like it felt so contemplative seeing like that couple blushing and holding hands and that making Steve break. It made me think of like, well, what's important in your life? It used to be joining the Emperor's Coven and now it seems like it's, you know, helping others. In my mind, at least it was like, I want I want to hold hands with somebody when I'm old. So like that focus being on like finding a, a, a partner or something like that. You know what I mean? Like he had that revelation about himself. These are the things that matter to me. I, uh coming to peace with the situation and bringing some of that insight over to Lilith, who's still... Praise be to King. While all that's going on, Luce and Ida disguise themselves as... <laughs> which I salute everyone who will be cosplaying that because it looks intricate but fun. They disguise themselves as coven guards to try to break into the warehouse where they're stole where they're uh, stolen all the story band, where they've taken all the stolen contraband in the hopes of getting Francois as well as Ida's box of her longest toenail. It grosses me out. 
grossed everybody out enough to not even dare to open and check the shoebox because lo and behold, it was actually the Palestrum wood. I loved that reveal. We kind of had to see their relationship grow and strengthen through how compromising each person individually, not connecting, not communicating. And that really just destroys loose. And like, you're trying to, you're trying to send me away. You think I'm weak. And it's like, no, like, it's just, it's, this is too much. I don't have a solution. I don't know what to do. And I love this feeling of Rain not communicating with Ida leaves Ida feeling like there's no plan and she has no allies, so their lack of communication fuels Ida's fears, worries, and anxieties, which then she lacks that communication with Luce, and it just created this, like, chain of destruction. Which, this is the episode where Luce got to finally meet Rain, and I loved that. I didn't even realize that they had never met. <laughs> I loved that we needed to do a little little homework here, a little, a little cleaning up. We had to do it the Owl House way, which is the most interesting as well as devastating the the more painful path of we're gonna have a little bit of a witch's duel between the two of them i knew no one was going to kill anybody but i was scared of there being something happening beyond getting caught like a light glyph triggering something in the owl beast Ida losing control of the owl beast something but then i realized no they're pretty synced which then made me realize the owl beast also wants to protect loose and that's a really thing to process. I loved the conversation between Ida and Rain, where Ida still just like trusts and cares about them so deeply that as of this moment, she understands Rain might not be on her side, but there's still someone that they trust. There's still someone who they must have their reason. Hopefully no one overheard them. I'm like, this is, is this not a monitored line? Was this a safe Source, was that your burner <laughs> magic ball? Like, Harpy Eda versus Luce was painful. But it also kind of showed us, I, I couldn't tell you which one I felt more. For a while, I felt maybe Eda because she got captured so quickly with the magic nets and stuff. Is Eda not powerful enough to hold her own in a fight as Harpy Eda? Or is Luce getting up in power to where she can keep up with Harpy Eda? I'm not quite sure what the takeaway was supposed to be there. That power slide was neat. It was fun. We. It was interesting then seeing Luce. There was very little dialogue before she kind of like broke. She's captured again. She's in the back of a she's in the back of a Coven Guard car. She's now in the same or a similar position as Ida. No ally, no plan. In that moment, just like Ida, Luce's focus was keeping everybody safe worrying about everyone, protecting everyone. And I think that was kind of that moment that kind of clicked for Luce, that it's not, I'm weak, I'm not valuable. It's, I'm valuable, I'm valued by this person who wants me safe and away from harm, especially when there is no plan. And I think that's kind of the point, is that fight also happened because Luce is sitting there like, am I not included in your plan? Your thought out, amazing plan involves ditching me. So I kind of appreciated that moment of feeling the other person's emotion through experience in a in a way, just as then we get one more chunk of rebellion and suddenly it's Darius that's got her wrapped up in abomination goo. Edder, Edder, Ed, no. Beast Boy's breaking her cuffs. Rain's there. <laughs> We're now the covens against the throne, right? Yeah, Coven's Against the Throne, or the Cats. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really loved that moment, like getting to feel the excitement, the joy, feeling like this is a safe room. People are being honest again. You know, Luce getting to meet Rain. There is a lot going on here, and it's understandable for somebody to want me to not be here. And then, oh wait, we do have a plan. Okay, cool. And then reconnecting over, here's the piece of the, the palestrum wood. We're going to carve it together. I loved the, this is something that, you know, obviously her dad taught her and everything. So it, it felt like a, a reconnecting moment as well as an establishment of their relationship and their familial bond and things like that. And it, I don't know, it was lovely. And then also the reminder, like, oh, no, not yet. Like, we have two days until the Day of Unity, which we have two days until the Day of Unity. No. Take your time. We're going to do it right. Be in the moment. It was about anything but carving the palisman. It was about them, their relationship, 
taking time for each other. Like, I loved that. Beautiful and scary last image of like, ooh, pretty stars. And I'm like, something's up with the moon in this equation, right? Something's gonna happen. Moons <laughs> in cartoons do not always do what they're supposed to do. King wanted things to feel normal and he kind of, you know, found a footing in this new normal, but it still also ended with the three of them in their space together. You know, he's got Francois, you know, the Owl House is in here. The real Owl House is the friends we made along the way. I loved that, the energy of that ending. And I think that Luce's Palisman is going to be some sort of chimera. If I have to be specific, I think the pigeon chimera thing that that she made in the pilot. It's a creature in the Owl House. It was even reestablished in a recent episode. It'd be part bird, so it'd be Clawthorn related as well. I'm also not against uh, the bat because of her phone and her uh, Tamagotchi texts. It could also be a snake. I've seen that theory around, which yeah, it connects with her mom and like the, the symbol for uh, medicine. I forget what it's called, but you, if you know, you know. Or, all of those things combined into a chimera or a giraffe. I thought Hootie was going to die and then Luce was going to make her palisman a Hootie. I'm gonna check that off the list, but I wanted to share it. I'm also interested to see what a palisman would do. Hunter doesn't have magic and he can do like a zip thing. So I'm interested to see what will come of Luce having a palisman. Usually like there's such a a strong choice to like always put like the background characters out there. You recognize old characters sometimes even in the crowds and stuff, but their hoods are up. You can't see their hands. They're just like, you know, the colorless void of like a black hand and a faceless face. First I was like, oh, that's a bummer. They usually do a good job at like making intricate background characters. And I realized they're losing their individuality. I don't know if that means something or not. It just felt very intentional. Like suddenly it doesn't have that fun, joyous feeling. Like it's just that little subconscious move to kind of, now they're just like hooded figures and blobs. No, no interesting appendages or faces. I found that really spooky. But yeah, leave a comment. What do you think Luce's Palisman will be? Do you like any of my my theories for what Luce's Palisman will be. Do you know what the timeline is between making these episodes and the uh, reveal of season three? Because I know what we know, but sometimes it feels like, you know, some people are like, oh, that, that was them definitely sticking it to Disney. And I'm like, I don't think they knew yet. It still could have been a finger to Disney because of other working conditions. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Was there something that I missed? What were your thoughts and my thoughts? Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, check the settings, blah, 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 YouTube words. Gaming channel in the description, Build Chill Gaming, where I stream twice a week. My merch store is linked in the description, thethirdbuild.com. Check that out if you're interested, as well as a link in the description for resources for social awareness and education, mental health crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that, should you or someone you know need them. Hope everybody's staying safe. I hope to see you next time I go live or I upload. Um, wear a mask if you choose to go out, be mindful of others, and remember to take care of yourselves, please.